All right, a lot of you guys have been waiting to see the Lincoln start the transformation like the Mustang. And so as you can see, the 64 Lincoln Continental with the suicide doors is sitting on a lift. And Joe has started disassembling the front suspension. So we're going to start there. And as you can see, uh, this is a 52-year-old car. He has been doing a lot of bolt breaking and soaking and cleaning. But uh, that's the first step is to get this entire front suspension off. Then we'll be pulling the rear end. Uh, the car originally had a Dyna 53 in it. That's not going to work. So we have a Ford 9 inch coming in from John's Industries. And pretty excited about that. So stay tuned. More to come. All right. So what are we replacing this front suspension with? We're going to go full airbag here. So as you can see, you get tubular arms, new ball joints. You got your slam, uh, your slam bags here. So this is going to be a really, really nice setup. We'll keep you posted as this progresses. Come on, Lincoln. You know you want to ride low. Yep. As you can see here, part of the installation is to remove the top of the shock support. You go, Joe. The airbag suspension work continues. Joe now has both sides of the front uh, set up roughly while we're waiting on the disc brake system to show up. So he started on the rear, and what we're going to do is drop out this Dyna 53 rear end, put in a new Ford 9 inch with aluminum carrier, uh, True Track, and all that good stuff. We're actually going to set that all back up and leave the car drivable on its gas to uh, test out all the airbag suspension. So a lot of this will be gone forever, but here's where we're at now. So what's going on with Mr. Lincoln in the rear end now? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Looks like he's dropped his rear end. Right there is a Dyna 53 rear end out of 64 Lincoln and going back with a Ford 9-inch. We were actually surprised to find out this had a Dyna 53. Never even seen one or heard of one before, especially in a car like this. You think Jeep usually when you think Dyna. But anyway... There you go. And as you can see right now, the exhaust has been dropped out. And we're trying to preserve everything because we're going to put the car back drivable with the airbag system to get everything set up in the way we like it. Then it all comes back out for the cleanup and final installation. Excellent. What's this? This looks a lot like the beautiful seats out of the Lincoln. What is Joe doing? What in the world has he started on this car? I think it's time that we find out. Where did the seats go, Joe? Oh, I see. We're getting ready to put in the rear setup. Test fit it and everything. All right, nice. Man, even with the seats gone, I love this car. And as you can see from up underneath here, this is the back part of the air suspension system. And those are the bolts that were accessed by drilling those holes on the inside. And you can see here, Joe started putting on the trailing arms and all the pieces necessary and getting it wired up out of the way. Uh, don't worry about the look of this underneath. Again, what we do is we always test fit all the suspension. Then in this case, we're actually going to drive the car and get everything set up. And then we'll remove everything again. And the whole bottom of this car will get blasted and recoated and it'll look gorgeous. So, there you go. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mitch. So what Joe's doing here is we have a piece of plywood, and he is temporarily mounting the compressors and the air pressure tanks and working and going to be rigging up some temporary lines and fittings. This will all get functional and just set in the trunk of the Lincoln, and then temporary lines will be run up to the front and rear airbags with the plan to be to test drive the car and shake out all the suspension and then all of it comes out the electrical gets installed and then the placement of these pumps and tanks will be determined uh, right now we have no idea they may go in the front Joe would like to try to fit these where the mufflers used to go but they're probably a little big lots of ideas lots of work maybe even have to get the tanks changed to a different size but anyway this is the way we do it we set this up we drive the car everything works all the controls the bags are adjusted Suspension's done and then it all comes out for final prep.
Good job, Joe. Thanks, Thanks. All right, so Joe has set this down in the recessed area of the trunk. Nice, good fit. Nice little clean test implementation. Love it. All right, so Joe has successfully installed the tanks and compressors in a temporary fashion. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing to test and cycle the airbags and then uh, actually drive it under gas power before pulling it all out. These are kind of loud. I think when they kick in, you're actually going to hear what I'm talking about. Yep. That was almost on cue, wasn't it? I have that skill. So anyway, let's take a look now, Joe. You have pressure. You have the remote. Let me step back. And I'll zoom in a little bit, I guess. Show me up and down, man. Oh, sweet. All right. I like it. All right, guys, that's the early stages and the early beginnings of a baggable, slammable Lincoln that will be all electric.